am an interdisciplinary artist and performer. Um, I like that to focus on what I call transformative performance. <laughs> Um, and involve sound with it. I document it with film, I make movies out of them. Uh, I paint also, as you can see behind, and do many, many other things. I lost my studio pretty early on in the first lockdown. I've been homeless on and off ever since, back to squatting. I wasn't able to work for quite a few months because my profession is tattoo artist, so that involves direct human contact that is unavoidable. So, and I wasn't really up for completely scrapping what is my actual line of work to do whatever else. So I just choose, chose to rough it out as, as I could, yeah. It has been rough. <laughs> Wilderness, I guess, ooh, how I understand it in this context is kind of like the chaos of life and being immersed in it. So the performance piece is called The Bonds You Choose. None of us are free, basically, if we're still trapped in this corporeal reality. Oh, we choose to be here regardless. Uh, but yes, we do have choice. This is uh, the element that I'm interested in with that piece. And um, if the bondage is of our own mental construction, I like to play around with it in the sense that it's immobile and the self is the only thing that is able to move in relation to it. Um, and yeah, sometimes dancing with it, sometimes struggling, as uh, we do in life, you know? The painting is called The Guide Who Walks Through Worlds. It actually has a poetry piece that goes with it, uh, which I've, again, I've done a sound piece for it. There's a whole like film of the making of the painting that I've made. First of all, it's overall an amazing opportunity Amazing space, amazing curation as well. It's been on my bucket list to do something in a crypt. So I, I don't know, I couldn't have asked for anything better for my first exhibition after COVID year. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been really good for that. And also I really like the fact that it's in collaboration with a, with a charity helping to support the mental health of artists, because we're all nutcases and we need it. <laughs> So yeah, happy to be involved. Most of us come from a place where we don't have 100% of high functioning mental health. And uh, sometimes that has served us well for inspiration, but when we're actually trying to thrive and manage a life and an art practice in a, such a changing, challenging world, we definitely need support.